What's good? What's good? What's good with everybody, man? Let me tell you all something right now. His axle right here, he's breathing a little. It's kind of hot over here in Winter Park, Florida. We over here in Winter Park, Florida, so I just kind of want to go over a little few things with you guys. Uh, crazy day, crazy day. So I decided to take Axel here to get some pictures, you know, do some videos and stuff and whatnot. And, uh, you know, we're walking around. Beautiful day here in Florida. It's approximately, probably close to 80 degrees now. And, um, yeah, Axel, it's okay, buddy. And, uh, yeah, we're out here just kind of hanging out, you know, in Winter Park. And let me just tell y'all, for all the people that don't know, uh, Winter Park is a really, uh, it's a high, you know, it's a really ritzy part of town here in Florida, you know, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's really, it's just really crazy what just happened about an hour ago, you know, I'm sitting here walking Axel, taking some pictures by the water fountain here, you know, just enjoying my day, you know, enjoy my day. And all of a sudden, this lady comes out of nowhere, right, with her dog, she has a dog, and she just starts cursing me out, right? Now, let me just explain to you what happened. Axel was, you know, sitting down. With, we were just sitting there, minding our own business, sitting on the bench. Um, I had my tripod there. I had my camera. I was kind of going through some pictures, you know, just looking around and, and, and kind of seeing which pictures came out well. And then Axel saw her dog and got up, you know, and kind of growled, right? So the lady goes, and I, and I immediately said, oh, it's okay, it's okay. And she goes, yeah, sure. And I said, excuse me? And she goes, that dangerous dog, that dangerous dog. And I think, ma'am, he's not dangerous. He's sitting right here next to me. F you, F you, and you can go to hell. And I was like, whoa, excuse me, ma'am. I said, that's not nice. I said, that is very rude. I said, God loves you. Jesus loves you. He really does love you and you need to repent. You need to repent. That is an evil thing to say. And she just kept cursing me out, throwing me the bird, telling me, I shouldn't be, you know, whatever. And I said, ma'am, I have just as much right to have my dog here at the park as you do with your dog. Oh, no, you don't. He's a dangerous dog. And that's so, so unfair, you know. It's so unfair, you know. Axel didn't come after her. She uh, she claimed that he lunged at her, okay. But he was really just, you know, he's a playful dog. And he just really loves to play, you know. And she took that as a threat. You know, it's really, really unfortunate. And it's really, really sad that there are people in this world like this, man. It's really, really sad, you know. I didn't use any profanity. I didn't curse at her. I told her that Jesus loves her, God loves her, and that you have a lot of sorrow and hate in your heart and you need to repent, you know? And she just kept throwing the bird, man. Just throwing, I mean, it's crazy. You know, if she goes to church, man, that's blasphemy. You know, you sitting here going to church and praying to God and all this other stuff and you out here with a, with a hateful heart, you know, a very hateful heart. And Axel didn't do anything. He was just sitting there, you know, chilling out he got up a quick he saw her dog and, and and you know got a little rambunctious and a little excited you know the lady lost her cool but and then after that this is the very very ironic part of it you know these three three older uh um i don't like to say white or black but i have to say white these three older white um or caucasian if that's the proper way to see it say it came up to me and um i just told him that lady just cursed me out for no reason i'm just sitting here with my animal and she just went in on me and she goes, oh my God, the older woman, and she was with two older gentlemen, she goes, we were just talking about that. She was just talking about how this world is in so much chaos and there's so much hatred in this world and everything. And when I told her what this lady said to me, they couldn't believe it. It was like an angel, they said. It was like an angel. I'm like an angel sitting here. And they were just having that discussion. And I explained to them what this lady told me and how rude she was to me. For no apparent reason and i told him that you know her heart is very it has a lot of sorrow and hate and they would, we just sat there and talked for about five minutes and at the end of the conversation they they they, they you know they, they said you know we thank you you know we, you know we're gonna pray and it was really you know a really heartfelt moment you know and the lady just she had nothing good to say you know nothing good to say whatsoever but anyway i just wanted to kind of chime in and uh you know kind of say that you know Rottweilers are not dangerous, y'all. It's all in how you train the animal. It's all in training. A little dog could be dangerous, okay? And that's what people have a misconception about. Little dogs can be just as dangerous as big dogs, okay? Yes, size is, is, is a factor, but a bite is a bite, right? A bite is a bite. That's, that's the bottom line, a bite is a bite. Her dog can bite, my dog can bite, okay? And the only difference between my dog and her dog is that my, jaws dog, my dog's jaws lock, okay? I understand, I get it, I get it. But I'm not sitting here training my animal to be vicious 
and and go after people and their animals okay that's why i bring him out here and, and and socialize him with the environment i want him to be a calm dog i want him to understand that when he passes somebody there's no need to jump up and, and get all hysterical and crazy and he's starting to understand that he's a very intelligent dog right axel and it's just so unfortunate that there are people out there like this with this kind of hatred in their heart you know for animals as well not only humans but for animals as well and it's a very sad thing it's a very sad world we're living in it's a very sad world but i just wanted to swing that message you know and, and, and let you guys know what happened today okay I'll let you all know what happened you know and uh i really hope that woman you know whatever she's going through her life right now you know i hope she gets everything situated and, and settled because that's not no that's not a way to just come up to somebody that you don't even know and just start talking down to them and, and cursing them out. I mean, she was throwing the bird at me. She was F-bombing me, calling me a mother, you know, everything. And she didn't even know me. You know, it's very unfortunate. But, you know, that's the way it is and, and that's life. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's very sad that this is the type of world we live in and when people just go off for no reason and, and, and don't have anything to really, to really back it up with. I mean, I asked her, I said, would you like me to call the police? And she said, what for? I said, because you said my dog was dangerous. Now, if you're in fear of your life, that should be the first thing that you do. But she told me not to call the police. So why are you sitting here cursing me out? Okay. But anyhow, enough is enough. Um, just, I don't even know what to say about it. But anyway, cut. Peace. Oh.